All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and we're going to get right into what we're trying to get into today. Let me, um, this is going to be a little bit different of a video. I know you guys are normally watching me for, for a lot of new people are watching me for the news videos, and a lot of my old people, they want to know where the gameplay is, man. And because I have a split community, I'm going to try something new with this video. And what I mean something new is, I'm going to do a gameplay, I'm gonna do a commentary on something that's actually relevant in the community. And y'all see, y'all see my guy right here, dude, really trash, trying to run with me. Um, I'm gonna do a commentary on something that's relevant in the community, but I'm gonna have gameplay in the background behind it. Now I know like in the morning times, you know, I, I do my uh, I do my other videos, I do everything like that. The news videos are great, news videos are doing great, but I just feel like there's still something left for me to give you guys. Like a lot of people wanna see gameplay and I can give you that. I don't wanna be known as just only a news channel, but I have to bring the gameplay to you in a way where people are gonna watch it and it has to be T uh, titles and things like that. It's got to be titles. It, it has to be um, brought to you in a way where people are actually going to want to watch the video. So we got to talk about something relevant. And that's cool because I'm all for that. So you guys know I can talk. If you want to listen to me talk about something relevant, you get you get your cake. And the people that want to see the game play, they get to eat it too. It's a win-win. If you guys support it, I'm going to keep on doing it. If you don't support it, then I, I guess we'll just have to leave it alone. And by support it, I mean if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, all that good stuff. Comment, comment down below, and let's just get right into the video. I was addicted to that fab money, fell in love with trapping, went to Denver, did a show with I damn near fell off the wagon Take it one day at a time Don't like me, that's okay Just respect the grind yeah. Now look, right here we playing some uh, Let's just introduce everybody right quick, man You know I got uh, dude really trash All that got all that stuff right there Three level score, 99, a 96, and a 97 These guys are no pushovers In uh, any any by any stretch of the imagination so the gameplay is going to be going in the background but i'm going to be talking about something that is very relevant and is is this game dead i don't feel like the game is dead i feel like the game has a lot of legs left i think that that the community largely is ruining the game and this is a game where we've largely been left to our own devices and because of that the community has just run them up we got the demigods we got the uh we've got the tendencies glitch we have all types of things going on in the community and and we just more or less have radio silence from the guys at 2k about it now one thing that i will say is i don't think anybody can deny that tycino and his world tour did reinvigorate the community it did make everything you know lit for a week or, or what have you but imagine how much more lit it could have been and when i'm saying this i'm saying it wasn't lit because they were doing wages it wasn't lit because because it was prime time it was lit because you had competition you had park players going head to head that were popular so everybody got to see their favorite youtuber everybody got to see their favorite uh you know players play against each other you know favorite wreck people favorite youtubers favorite uh comp stage guys we'll just say like that they got to see every, everybody got to see those guys play against each other it didn't have anything to do with the money people just like to see big names playing against each other because people like to root for the people that they like to root for let's look at it like look at like basketball and um basketball baseball football we don't watch it because the players get paid a lot of money we get we watch it because those are the best and we we are fans of those people and we, and we want to watch it imagine how much bigger that could have been if they had something like crossplay, they don't even have to have crossplay. This is just a segue in here because Call of Duty has something, and it's an awesome feature. And I don't think anybody knows about it, but I think that this could that this could be something that 2K can implement, and it would go a long way to completely saving the entire community as far as the competitive aspect. Because we know that the guys from WR and all those guys, we we, we know that those guys they flip flop between Xboxes and things like that. We're not, I'm not even asking for true crossplay. We don't even need that. What I'm asking for is something like Activision has. Activision has a system in place where you log in to the Activision.com site, and when you log into the Activision.com site, you can choose. You can link all of your accounts. So you can link your computer account. You can link your. Uh, you can link your Xbox account. You can link your PC account. So a PlayStation, PC, Xbox account. You link them all 
in there on the one email. Does that sound familiar? Because you definitely already done that with 2K. So you link them on the one email, and then when you link them on the one email, you go onto your, your PlayStation, you play the game, but if I decide to play the game on the Xbox or the PC, then I also get all of my progression. I've got everything that I have on one. So right here, you're probably seeing it on the screen right now. You see, I logged into my PlayStation, this is what I have. Then I change over to the PC. I just downloaded the game on the PC and all of my guns, all of my progression, everything popped up. Now it took some time for it to happen, but it did pop up. I mean, it took about, and when I'm saying it took some time to happen, it took about 10, 20 seconds for it to pop up, but it did pop up. I've got all my progression. I got all my guns. I got all my attachments. I got all my silences. So if I want to buy the game for multiple systems, I can enjoy the game on multiple systems the way that I want to enjoy the game on multiple systems. Now imagine if we could do that with 2K. Just think about it. 2K is a game that everybody buys. We all want to see. We, we didn't want to see Tysino just play Zuli, um, play, play guys like, uh, he didn't play Poor Boy Sam, but we would have loved to see that. We, we didn't just want to see him play Zuli, um, G Size, Annoying, you know, guys like that. These are the only people that he had access to. He didn't play Annoying, but I'm just saying these are the people that he had access to. We wanted to see him play Chalk. We wanted to see him play Statistics. We wanted to see him play all these other guys, but you will never really be able to enjoy something like that on 2K because number one, it takes so long to grind a player. Number two, nobody, everybody wants their player. I want my player on both systems. I don't want to sit here and, and, and get the game on one system, play the game, and then go to the other system, have to spend money on that player, and then have to grind the player as well. I don't care about that. I would, I promise you I would play this game more if I could have it on Xbox and PlayStation and have access to my players on both and have access to my progression. Now, I know that we're gonna have issues. You know, somebody's gonna try to find a way I'll grind the player on Xbox while you grind it on PlayStation, and we're gonna be pushing rep at the same time, but, but that's an easy fix. Just make it so if you're on one system, it just tells you, hey, you're logged in on another system. We're gonna have to log you out in order for you to continue. Same thing that Alexa does when you're streaming music. Same thing that they, they do on plenty of systems. They can do that so that you can only be on one system. I would say that, that somebody's gonna try to find a way to beat it and exploit it, but but bro, they do that anyway. I mean, have you not seen the demigod glitch? Have you not seen all of that? Even if they want to charge you for it, like what if they want to charge you an extra, an extra 50 bucks or something like that to have access to your player? I do that. I'm always in favor of spending money in order to save my time. Or they can just do it like Activision and let it be free, do us a solid because that's the least that y'all owe us 2K. You, you don't have to, I promise you, if you made a good game, and let's say the average person that plays 2K can make makes three or four players a year. Let's say they make three, two or three players a year. I say the average person probably makes two, three, three players a year. If I had access to them across, uh, you know, across the networks, across uh, Xbox, I don't even have to be able to play, play against somebody on. They don't have to be crossplay. If I just had access to them. I know I would make at least, I, I make a lot more players and you would make a lot more money because of the fact that people people would feel like their time is more well spent. If there was one rep system across all of them and one and one shared player uh, pool across all of them, I guarantee you people would play this game more, they have more fun, the community be more lit and, and people would just enjoy it. And like I said, I was talking to T Mizzle yesterday, the only reason that we don't play this game on both systems is because Nobody's going to grind a player on both systems, but I would definitely play on Xbox. Just think about somebody like ATL. ATL wasn't able, ATL had uh, players on both, and he's had to grind the players on both. Don't you think that he would have more players on each system if he didn't have to sit there and push rep on both players and grind those players up of course he would because it's one shared pool and even though you may be losing out on well they won't do that because they're gonna have they're gonna lose out on 50 60 bucks bro you will benefit dramatically in the long run if you all implement something like this i don't think you can do it right now i don't know if you can do it right now but if you can you need to do this as soon as possible so we can get things like this we can get the cross play we can get the real the real best wr teams against each other they can flip flop between a a xbox and playstation at this point i think just about everybody has both systems everybody wants to play with their people on both systems but i think this is the only inhibiting factor if they were to just do this do something like this even if you just do a next generation just do it 
let us share our own accounts across the board and I guarantee that the game will flourish. It'll be more exciting all year. People will make more players. Like I said, the only thing that's holding me back from playing on Xbox right now and making more players is I have to decide where I want to play with which player. If I didn't have to worry about that, I would make five, six players. I'm not even gonna lie to you because I could play on Xbox or PlayStation, have the same rep on each one, have the same characters on each one, and have everything. Anyway, man, you guys let me know what you guys think about that. I think it would be an awesome idea. I think it would be something that would invigorate the community. I think it would make the game last a lot longer all year. Would you make more players and that's what we're talking about. Would you make more players if you had access to a system like that? If all of your, if your rep was persistent, no matter where you played it, and and maybe we can just kill kill a computer. Maybe maybe we don't want that because you know people go on computer and boost and then come back or whatever. But since the player is on the server, you can't augment the player, even though we've done it this year anyway. Plenty of people have done it, so you know all that goes out the window because this game been fixed. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I think that uh, I think it would be awesome. For, for the for the people, for the community, only the, and the community wins in a situation like this. Nobody really loses, not even 2K, because they're gonna get more money because people will make more players because they wouldn't have to sit here and grind the player on both and they play the game more, I guarantee it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, I'm gonna catch y'all next time, till next time. Let me know if you enjoy these type of videos. Let me know if it was thought provoking or, or what will you think will be some of the issues with it. I know there's gonna be some issues with it. We know some people are gonna cheese, but come on, man. They're already doing it, right? So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed!